Hi everyone, welcome back. And a quick reminder to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'm back with another video as part of my Python tips and tricks series. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can directly download your Kaggle data into Colab. And I most of the time work on a local IDE, but I also do work on Colab on certain projects. And in the past, I used to download a data set uh, if I'm taking it from Kaggle. I used to download it locally and then upload it to my Google Drive and do all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to show you a pretty easy way of uh, pointing towards the specific data set, whether it is part of uh, the competitions on Kaggle or just a plain data set. You know, you can just point directly there so the data gets downloaded to your uh, uh, Colab instance. So let's jump into Colab and continue the discussion. Okay, so this is again the free version of Colab. I don't see any reason why it would be any different in other versions like paid version of Colab. So let's go through these in a methodical way. So all I did is just connect to a, an instance, again, a runtime, it can be it can be CPU, GPU, it doesn't matter. Our focus is on downloading the data set. So step number one, first thing first, you need to install the Kaggle library. So let's go ahead and do that should be pretty fast I should say and once it's installed then I prefer to mount the Google Drive because the way you're connecting your uh, your Kaggle account to your Google Colab account for the data transfer purposes is via using an API key API credentials so first thing first you need to create that credentials in case you don't know how to do that let's switch to Kaggle so here is my Kaggle account, again, a free account right there, right? And uh, under Kaggle, you go to your profile or your account, it doesn't matter. If you go to your profile, go ahead and click on the account. And on the account, you go down to API and create new API token. When you click on that, it downloads a uh, .json file. Obviously, this is an account I don't use quite a bit. So you see not much activity there. But uh, once you click on this create new API token, it actually downloads. There you go, it should be .json file. And that JSON file has all the information uh, about my credentials right there uh, for Kaggle. So once you have that, what I have done is I copied that to a location on my Google Drive. And uh, that is exactly why I want to mount the Google Drive so I can point to that specific file. You can do it in a temporary way. You don't have to, you can just download it locally and then upload it to your specific instance of Colab, like when, when, like right here, click and drag. But when the runtime closes, then you don't have access to that file. So that's why I like to save it on my Google Drive. So uh, next time when, I'm, uh, when I wanna download this, I know exactly where my credentials are, that's it. Okay, so for that specific purpose, I am going to mount my Google Drive so connect to the Google Drive. It's going to ask me for permissions. Let me go ahead and do that and allow. And it's going to connect to the drive any second now. And once it's connected, we are going to make a, uh, there you go, it's connected. Oftentimes, the if, if you find that it's not dynamic enough, you see it's slow, you can actually click that refresh. So it refreshes right away on demand. Just a quick tip. Okay, so now that the drive is mounted, I know exactly where, let me go ahead and look at the collab. So Kaggle API credentials, I saved my JSON file right there. So I copy the path and then I'm all set. So that's it, that's all I need from there. Okay, and the next step is make a directory uh, uh, for Kaggle at this temporary instance. In fact, I shouldn't have closed the left hand side. Let's do that, okay. And uh, let's go ahead and make this directory in this temporary uh, location in, on the specific instance you're working on. So let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to download our data into that dot, uh, Kaggle uh, location right there. Now, into this location, I want to copy my JSON file that has my credentials. So if you want to copy right there, uh, if you are uploading it directly, so for example, if I'm dragging it and placing it right here, then you can actually run that line. But since I already uh, placed my JSON file on my Google Drive, here is the link to my JSON file. I am going to use this command, copy a specific file, right? Which one? The kaggle.json into this specific location, .kaggle that we just created, 
okay so when i run this it is going to do that let us refresh and see if we see anything right there that's a hidden file right there but let's go ahead and change the permissions we'll we'll see data right here once we start copying it now now that we have the kaggle.json i just want to make sure that only i as the owner has the right to read and write so you have to change the permissions to this specific file 600 is the one where it changes it to rw for the owner and then all blanks if you don't know what i mean go ahead and google search for chmod 600 you'll get some information about it it's just changing the permissions of that json file okay now that that part is done now let's go ahead and download the uh, download the data so this is it uh it's, it sounded like i i spoke for the last five minutes but it's basically making a directory right here and copying the json file and changing the file uh, permissions that's it and now let's go ahead and find a data set on Kaggle so the for I usually search let's go to home I usually search for what I want right let's say heart disease is something I searched a while ago now on Kaggle you have two different types of uh, data you can get data from two different sources one is data sets the other one is competitions so let's start by uh, looking at the competitions first and there are various competitions and some are active some are not active like if I go to heart disease data set right there uh, this is, uh, I don't even know if this is an active data, uh, this competition, is this a competition I'm looking at? Oh, let's undo the data sets. I just want to look at the competition. That was a data set. So if you just go alien heart disease, no idea what that is, but there you go. So that's an alien heart disease. So go ahead and pick whatever you think is the best. I think I picked one that says air heart disease. And when I initially ran the line, like this specific line, download air heart disease, it gave up, uh, it came up with a 403 forbidden error because it says the competition is closed. Go ahead and click late submission if you would like to participate. I did that. And under my account now, it enables me to download that specific file. So that's one thing you need to do. That's it. Uh, all you need to do is Kaggle competitions download air heart disease so when you do that it downloads whatever is under there so what do we have first of all if i go to data there should be sample submission.csv test 7 csv train 7 csv that's it so let's go back and see if we have those files there you go air heart disease.zip it downloaded the entire thing as zip sometimes it's individual files so if it is a zip we need to unzip it and how do you do that unzip air heart disease.zip it's right there so let's go ahead and run it there you go it unzipped it if you're impatient go ahead and hit this it will show what it unzipped there you go I have my files ready now to be used you can again save them into specific subdirectories and you can unzip into specific uh, subdirectories again this is not a tutorial about how to use those command line uh, uh, you know <laughs> interface but basically showing you the idea right there okay now Okay, we downloaded all of these, but sometimes you may have like 1,000 files. You just want like one file out of those or two files or a handful of them. So to do that, you can just do Kaggle competitions and why the heck do I have this? There should be a, there you go. I think I accidentally deleted that, but uh, digit recognizer. So let's go back and uh, look for, I don't know, digit. I just found that data set, right? So I just found this data set and I said, okay, I want this data set, and, but I want only a single file. Maybe I just want train.csv from here. It's up to you what data set you're looking for. So, uh, so to do that, it's competitions, download, and instead of just uh, your name, in addition to just the name, I put minus F saying that, okay, download file or files, and then get train.csv. So when I do that, it's going to download train so let me refresh so you can see that train.csv and it downloaded that as zip go ahead and unzip and use it okay so that's that part and now let's just focus on data set so now if i come back and uh, do exactly the same search again heart disease and if i click on data sets and now i'm looking at this is these data sets are not part of any competitions these are just regular data sets and when I click on, for example, heart disease data set, look at the URL. It says John Smith 88 slash heart disease data set. 
So that's okay. We can use that one. I think that's what I used. The first one that I saw, John Smith 88 slash all disease data set and Kaggle data sets download. And when I do that, it should download this. And if I refresh it, you should see hard disease data set dot zip. And that's what we got uh, from this download. In summary, you can download to your local drive and then upload it and do all that kind of stuff. But if you add these two, three lines at the start of your whatever project that you're doing, then you have the files right there and you can go ahead and keep everything at one place rather than shuffling the files manually. I hope you found this tutorial to be useful. Again, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Thank you guys.